Eve and welcome back to this week's episode of WBF TV. We only have 10 more days of school left and these next two weeks are going to be busy. Our lost and found area is pretty full. Please make sure you take a walk through it this week to claim any of your items. All items at the end of the year are going to be packed up and donated so make sure you take a look. We acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation. These are the meeting grounds, gathering place, and traveling route to the Cree, Nakota Sioux, Dene, Salto, Blackfoot, and Métis. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Coming up this week on the 17th, we are going to be practicing a lockdown. And on the 18th, on Friday, it is our sports day theme day, so you can wear your items from your favorite sports team or maybe a team that you play for. On the 20th, it is Father's Day and the first day of summer. On the 21st, it is National Indigenous Peoples Day, and June is actually National Indigenous Peoples History Month. On the 25th, next week, it is the last day of school. It's also going to be Canada Day here at Woodbridge Farm, so you can dress up in all of your red and white Canada gear. We have some special holidays this week. So on the 14th today, it is National Strawberry Shortcake Day. Mm. On the 16th, it is National Chocolate Fudge Day. And on the 17th, it is National Eat Your Vegetables Day. I like the 16th better. <laughs> On the 18th, it is International Picnic Day. And on the 19th, it is World Juggling Day. So if you can juggle, make sure you show us your epic skills. And on the 20th, it is Father's Day. Last week's quiz question was, how many eyes does a caterpillar have? And the answer was 12. This week, our question is, what was the highest summer temperature recorded in Canada? Was it A? 45 degrees, B, 40, C, 42, or D, 47. That's making me sweat just thinking about it. That would be a slurpy day. Did you know that the first day of summer is June 20th? And did you know that watermelon is one of summer's best treats? And that watermelon is not a fruit, but a vegetable instead? They belong to the cucumber family. Did you know that the last day of summer is September 22nd? We'll already be back in school by that time. And did you know that Frisbees were first invented in the 1870s as a pie plate, but in the 1940s, college students began throwing them around as a game? Did you know that mosquitoes have been on Earth for more than 30 million years? Gross. And that popsicles were accidentally invented in 1950 by an 11 year old boy who left a cup of soda and a stirring stick out on his front porch. The next morning he found it and it was frozen. Did you know that Canada ranks number six in the top 10 ice cream eating countries in the world? Australia is number one. And ice cream cones were invented in 1904. Most ice cream is sold on Sundays. And that the average Canadian enjoys about 4.5 liters of ice cream each year. That is about 85 scoops of ice cream. Our seven sacred teaching this week, there is no shortcut to achieving the state of love and you cannot know love unless you are courageous. You cannot know love unless you are honest. Love is based on the wisdom to understand oneself and the humility to accept weaknesses as well as being proud of one's strengths. Love has at its very core all other teachings. Wowzers this week, we have Madeline in 4G receiving a wowzer for showing love and respect. Hudson in 4G for showing love. Connor in 4G was demonstrating respect and wisdom. Elijah in 1A for showing love and respect. Mikhail in 1A for courage. Ellis in 1A for showing respect and love. To Eli in 1A for showing love. Cole in 1A for showing love. Sullivan in 1A was also showing love. 
To Caden in 3DN for showing love. To Claire in 4-6G for showing love and respect. And Quinley in 4-6G for also showing love and respect. Michaela in 1L was demonstrating love. Cooper in 1L was showing wisdom. Andy in 1L was demonstrating respect. Cameron in 1L was showing wisdom. We have Torin in 1L who is also showing love. Parker in 1L for showing respect and wisdom. And Leon in 1L for demonstrating love. We have MJ in 1A for showing courage. And Kaylee in 1A for showing courage. Great job, everybody. We love all the leaders that we have in our school. It is time for some jokes, and we have some amazing ones this week from our students. The first two are from Lachlan in 1A. What's always coming but never arrives? I don't know what. Tomorrow. What part of the playground lives in the sea? I don't know. A seesaw. Those were awesome, Lachlan. Thank you so much for sharing them. Next, we have Zach, who is also from 1A. Take it away, Zach. Why did they throw, throw out the clock out the window? Why? To see how time flies. Zach, that was hilarious. Alice is up next. Did you hear that the bakery burnt down? I didn't. Now the business is toast. Great job, Alice. We love those jokes. We have Everly from 4Z who has a special Disney joke for us. Why did Mickey get hit with a water balloon? I don't know why. Because Donald ducked. <laughs> fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, Everly. And last but not least, we have Zoe from 4Z. How does every birthday end? I don't know. In a Y. That was so funny, Zoe. We love all the jokes, everyone. Keep them coming. Birthdays this week. Congratulations to the following students who are celebrating their birthdays. And we have some from June, July, and August coming up. First is Namius in 1 to 3G. And on the 15th, we have Chloe in 4G. Happy birthday to Emma in 4G on the 17th. On the 18th, it is Aaliyah in 4G. And also on the 18th, Mason in 1 to 3G. Our July birthdays begin with Kingston in 6T. And Madeline in kindergarten on the 14th. And on the 14th, we have William in kindergarten. On the 19th, we have Parker in 1L. And Ryan is on the 19th in kindergarten. And on the 20th, we have Matilda, who's at home. And also on the 20th, Matthew in kindergarten. August birthdays, we have Ryan in 4G on the 14th. On the 15th of August, it is Jonathan in 4 to 6M. And on the 17th, it is Claire in 4 to 6G. On the 18th, it's Tiffany in 4G. And we have Lillian in kindergarten celebrating her birthday on the 19th. Happy birthday, everybody. Did you know that pop can tabs can be used to get wheelchairs for veterans? Don't forget to keep collecting your pop can tabs to bring in for donations. Quinley and Claire will come around to classrooms and collect them on Friday. And that's it for us. We are so happy that you joined us this week. It's hard to believe that we only have 10 days of school left together. So let's make them so much fun. Please make sure you stay tuned to the end of the, this episode for pictures from around the school last week. We hope you all have a beautiful Monday and a bright week of learning. Be safe, show respect, work hard.
Say you don't waste your time 